What should be the role of the State Senate in helping homeowners through this mortgage crisis? And what specific steps would you take to help persons who are on the verge of losing their homes or have already done so? And we begin with... Actually, you know what I'm going to do in the, in the essence of fairness? I'm going to do this rotation. So I'm going to begin with City Councilman Felder, and then to... Thank you. I just want to see what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> is that your mother? Yes, it is. I don't want to be accused of using her as a prop, but it's an honor <laughs> being in your presence. Welcome. We in the City Council over the past few years, as you know, have made sure that homeowners get a $400 rebate as well as a 7% cut in the tax. That is already a burden on homeowners. But we are facing a crisis. And the only way we're going to get out of the crisis is by taking a very careful look at the predatory lenders. Because at a certain point a few years ago, it almost looked as though it doesn't make sense not to buy. The money's there, just come pick it up and everything will be fine. And unless we root out the problems, yeah, now it's bad times. It's very hard to get a loan. But unless we root out the problem of predatory lending and the people that are affected most are people who are poor, who are taken advantage of. And somebody comes along and like the devil says to you, it's no problem, just pick it up and it's free and there's no problem, you will never have difficulty. And now, we are stuck with the problem now. So in addition to the tax cuts we need, this is a crisis of enormous portions and I believe that funding in the state has to be set aside, not, it can't solve the problem entirely, but at least to help people coast through very difficult years right now until they're able to stand on their feet on their own. Thank you. Councilman Stewart. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, you're going this way. I'm, I'm reacting to his standing first. Uh, based on the department. I'm glad he raised this issue about property taxes. Because the reason why the city council is giving you a cut is because do you remember what they did to you six and a half years ago when they came into office? Is they raised your property taxes. That was the first thing they did. The last thing they tried to do was give you congestion pricing. And in both instances, they just followed the mayor and what the mayor wanted. And I'm not sure that this community deserves that kind of leadership. The reality is I had to go back two weeks ago and fight against a property tax cap which does not provide relief. I support the assembly's position, again, win against the leadership, and supported the circuit breaker that I want to congratulate Assemblyman Perry and uh, Assemblywoman Robert Jacobs for them yesterday passing a very good property relief bill, uh, bill that both provide incentives and real relief to taxpayers. But as we deal with foreclosures, we've already done the things that need to be done. We as a team in the legislature have already paused for many of the foreclosures already in the state and passed a bill that was signed two weeks ago by the governor that provides relief for people who are in fact suffering through foreclosure. We as, as Democrats in the state senate held an event on March 2nd which we brought in lenders to in fact uh, help people renegotiate their mortgage. I had one person come in in fact get $30,000 off of their, off, re, 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 um, taken off of their mortgage. Next week, the 30th, we are going to be holding at Nazareth High School a, a mortgage foreclosure forum where people will come and meet with lenders, meet with ACORN and people like uh, Neighborhood Housing Service of East Flatbush to get counseling and help through their crisis and we'll continue to do what we've always done, work with people house by house to save this community. And now comes the next story. Well, first of all, uh, my senators said that they have done so much. But, brothers and sisters, those of you who live in East Flatbush and Flatbush area, you have seen the amount of forums that we have done to help homeowners to deal with mortgage crisis. And one of the problems that we have found is that the state does not truly regulate mortgage companies that do business in New York. What happens basically is this. You've been sold a, 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 a bag of goods 
that you don't have control over. Their mortgage is given, and then it's been sold to another company that is out of state. Three months after. Three months after, as the gentleman says. And then what happened? You have no very little control. So in other words, what they do, the, the broker gets his money, the first mortgage company gets their money, and you are left holding the bag. When I get to Albany, I'll make sure that this, anybody who does business in New York is controlled. As a matter of fact, we will have some sort of control on, on those people, whether it's the broker, the mortgage company, or whoever it is that does make our business in New York. The other thing that he spoke about that we raise taxes. But brothers and sisters, who give it? We have to get the permission from the state to do anything as far as raising taxes or reducing taxes. We are putting a, a, a request to give some sort of rebate to people who are renters and they refuse to do that. Brothers and sisters, they pay taxes too. All I'm saying is basically this, you cannot want to have your pie and sell out and eat it too. All right, thank you. Authority